Please welcome uh, the head of the County Council of Stockholm, Inge Linge. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored and happy to be able to welcome you all to Stockholm and to Stockholm region. As he said, I am the chairman of the County Council Assembly, where Hans is a member, and we are all elected for a four-year period. The County Council, which is the regional body, political body in the Stockholm area, is responsible for most of all three things. It's healthcare. Uh, for the inhabitants, it's uh, public transport, and it's planning. And uh, podcast is, of course, uh, uh, public transport. So I will speak uh, summary of the situation in the Stockholm region when it comes to public transport. The geographic area um, uh, is Stockholm city and uh, 25 neighboring towns and municipalities, and the number of uh, Inhabitants now is a uh, little more than two million people. And it's increasing very quickly, very fast, every year. Uh, this means today that in 2% uh, of the country's area live 20%, uh, more than 20% of its population. And people are moving from other parts of Sweden and from other parts of the world. So this is very much like other metropolitan areas in Europe and in the world. But this growth uh, demands action when it comes to planning and uh, for the region, and uh, it demands investment, heavy investment in new infrastructure and uh, new public transport systems. An ordinary weekday like today, a rainy Wednesday, about 700,000 inhabitants will go by public transport to their work or other, uh, other travels. And uh, the number of travels for this 700,000 persons are about 2.5 million. Uh, and in the rush hour this morning, it was a very heavy <laughs> traffic. Uh, I came by a bus and uh, changed to, to uh, metro, uh, people all, all around. And um, uh, this morning, it's something like um, uh, four out of five persons uh, uh, in the public system uh, transport, they went from the neighboring uh, areas to the central parts of Stockholm. Uh, we all know that planning demands uh, to know facts, and one fact is very important to understand in Stockholm is that there's water everywhere. <laughs> uh, and so when Stockholm was founded more than 70, 750 years ago, uh, it was because uh, in the old town, uh, you have to uh, go there and see for yourself, this is the most narrow place where you in those days could control the water traffic uh, from the Baltic Sea into <coughs> the inner part of uh, the Lake Mälaren, where in those days the important uh, uh, places were in terms of trade, uh, political and religious power. Uh, but today, uh, water is not uh, connecting anymore the way it was in the old days. <coughs> but uh, we are a water uh, region, and uh, with our um, 25,000 islands in the archipelago, Stockholm archipelago, it's very big, uh, one of the biggest archipelago, together with the Finnish side, there's as many uh, islands. Uh, it's important, of course, to also have a uh, water traffic. And in um, recent years, I might say that uh, there's been a change in uh, thinking uh, that uh, water traffic also can be a commuter <coughs> traffic in uh, uh, Stockholm and in other uh, 
from, from other parts of or outside Stockholm to uh, the center of Stockholm as a <coughs> public transport system. Uh, so there's been a change of thinking and uh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, there's also been a change of thinking when it comes to um, uh, trams. Uh, you mentioned it, Hans, uh, uh, earlier. And um, all, all our trams uh, were taken away in the 60s when Sweden went from driving on the right, left uh, side of the road to driving on the right side of the road. And for me, uh, being a, a tram lover, I think it's, I'm very happy to see trams coming back uh, in the streets of, of Stockholm and uh, like it was uh, when I grew up. Uh, I will also say something about um, uh, how the uh, public transport system have changed from mostly being um, centrical from, from the outside into the middle, uh, now uh, connecting like more spiders net uh, uh, with buses and with uh, light rail uh, from the points in this, uh, oh, you understand what I mean, I don't find the right word in English. It's very important and this um, is supporting uh, uh, polycentric planning because we can't only have one center in a, a metropolitan area like uh, Stockholm, we have to have many centers. So poly uh, polycentric uh, planning is uh, one of the key words. So uh, in summary, I have shortly described uh, the rapid growth of this uh, uh, region in number of inhabitants and uh, the key words uh, for the planning, uh, polycentric planning, and um, infrastructure and public transport. Uh, the keywords are also openness and creativity and find new uh, solution. And um, I will end uh, this uh, short speech by saying you are part of the new thinking. I wish you all the best for this two days, uh, days uh, seminar and uh, conference. So good luck. Thank you very much.